Hello my soccer universe. If you don't know by now, I really love my secondhand marketplaces to fill up my collection because I usually can find a really good bargain here and there. And this is also true for the jersey that I found in here, which is the first official jersey released for Euro 2024 and I got it for the grand total of 30 euros. Yes, it's an L, not an XL, but it is a really, really nice jersey and I'm really happy to have found this one. However, the pathway to this jersey was not that straightforward. I mean, I had it reserved for me, uh, you know, wait for the new seller, blah, 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 blah. And then once I want to buy it on Wilhelm, I have two options. Either buy it immediately, meaning I accept the price and all the stuff and you just have to accept it within 24 hours and send it. Or I can make an offer. I could also go in with the original price and it will be fine. My problem was that I chose buy immediately and the seller then made a complete mess out of this. Really annoyed me to the point where I said, well, if you think I'm doing, do, doing it wrong, I mean, you annoy me so, so much. I don't want to have the jersey anymore. Lo and behold, within 10 minutes, he figured it out and the jersey got sent to me. And here it is. Yes, maybe there's a little bit bad karma with it, but you know. I'm willing to forget about that because what's in here is really, really, really cool. So let's open it up. Uh, let you have a little look inside. Maybe you can guess it already. I really, really like that the seller put the jersey in a plastic bag. At least that is something that I also always do. This tells you that they know what they're doing. So let me take it out and It's the Belgium away jersey released for these euros. Now, I know, I looked at the schedule. This jersey, I don't think will be worn at the euros unless Belgium reach the final and play at another team that is in red. But it is one of the prettier jerseys released for these euros. Uh, you see already the pattern all over. Uh, once I saw that Belgium had a light blue jersey, away jersey, and I have only this, the one from the last euros, I kind of said, yeah, may I have to look at one? And I actually really like the one from 2016. Then I will get the current one. I never really imagined. Now, I really love how they made the Adidas logo extra big on, on this one. And the new Belgium crest, I also don't mind all that much, but it's basically all about the overall pattern. Now, I had, to, I had uh, a picture sent of me by the tag. It's brand new with tag and also of this tag. Uh, from the pictures and from the way this is made, I can definitely tell this is an original. It's not the player version, but it's a replica version. So that makes it really, really, really cool. Uh, I see one little blemish. I'm not sure if that probably will have knocked a few euros off. Yes, there is a little bit of some pulls here. Uh, maybe that's a little bit, but you know, 30 euros, brand new jersey. I don't mind all that much. Well, there it is. I think of the newly released Adidas jersey, with the exception of the Germany home jersey, which fully dives into the current um, template. This one is my favorite. Uh, I could do without this. I really could do without this because I think they detract a little bit. Of course, this is the jersey inspired by Tintin and that's why we have the light blue uh, jersey and we have also the a nice uh, crew neck collar, which really adds to the shirt. Uh, the pattern is the same as on the home jersey, but it really makes for a standout look on this jersey, I gotta say. So yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with that one. You know, whenever I can get a brand new jersey at a bargain, I'm happy. I remember in 2018, I was so happy to get the France jersey ahead of the World World Cup for 50. I don't think that Belgium will win, but getting a brand new Belgium jersey for a fraction of the cost, I mean, it's 100 euros i get it for 30 that's a 70 percent discount right there yes i have to accept a blemish yes i have to accept it's probably an l and not an xl that i would go for but with adidas l is fine so i may not use this during the euros that's maybe the only sad part but on the other side uh, there's also a World Cup qualifying coming where this jersey will surely be worn and it's a really nice jersey to add to the collection. I have to say Belgium away jerseys have been really nice as of late. So yeah, I never had a close connection with Belgium per se, but there are some jerseys out there that are really, really outstanding. In any case, let me know what you think about this jersey and the bargain. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.
talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!